Back at the Jeffersonville Sports Drome Speedway and back in Victory Lane. And a driver getting there the first time this year is Chris Anderson out of Louisville, Kentucky. And Chris, a pair of heat race wins earlier in the evening in two different divisions, but it was on the uh, Dromer Oval feature race event that you collected the win. You've got to be thrilled. Oh, yeah, really thrilled. Car was running good tonight. Now, Chris, uh, they flip a coin to determine which way they go. Ordinarily, the cars go counterclockwise on the track. Tonight, it was a different story. They went clockwise, kind of uh, opposite direction on the oval than you're uh, used to. Do you have an advantage uh, going that direction? Uh, no. Either way, it's good. I prefer to go right. Nobody likes it, but I love it. A lot of heavy traffic throughout the race event. Uh, about where did you start at? Uh, I think it was around 12th, I believe. And, uh, yeah, the lap cars was really getting to me. Once I was out front, they was giving me no break whatsoever. What point of the race did you grab the lead? Uh, you know, Frank, I really wasn't sure. I wasn't paying attention to actually, you know, looking at the scoreboard. Um, it's probably maybe about midways. So a, a real tough run here tonight going in the opposite direction that you're usually uh, uh, used to. But, uh, again, it, it all pays off. It, you wind up in victory lane shored up your uh, point standings positions a little bit better. I'll give you a chance to mention some of the sponsors on your car. Yeah, I'd like to thank, first off, uh, Bank Street Liquors. They've been with me. It's a family-owned and operated thing. My fian or my wife, I'm sorry, my wife and her family own it. Um, I've got All About Kids Daycare. i got Nick Transport. i got the Pool Man, which has been with me since I started. Uh, I've got Broughton Family Eye Care, uh, Local 502, and this year I picked up uh, Metro Technologies. So it's been a good year so far. Congratulations, Chris, on your first feature win of the season. A, a union plumber from Louisville, Kentucky, and uh, finding victory lane here at Sports Drome Speedway. Well, Sports Drome Speedway had its first school bus figure eight feature race event this season here on Memorial Day weekend. And the winner, of course, Art Grew going to Victory Lane. Art, it was a fantastic race. Uh, Mike Bivens give you a, a bunch of challenges there in the in the early going, but somehow he met up with somebody at the intersection. Yeah, I need to thank Mike for that. Uh, I don't know if I was going to catch him or not. We could catch him in the corners, but he was real fast down the straightaway. So it was. Uh, I hate that for eight ball, but it worked out good for us. Tell us what it's like to wheel the largest vehicles to ever crisscross at the intersection here at Sports Drum Speedway. What's it like driving one of these things? It's uh, it's some of the most fun I've ever had. I really enjoy doing it. Uh, I want to thank Benny Eagler for putting together the buses for us, and uh, it's just it's just a whole lot of fun. Of course, you avoided a lot of wrecks out there. The school buses don't handle so well going around the turns. Anything special you do to the bus uh, to get it around it, or you just have to drive it? You just got to hang on. You can go in there as fast as you want, but you got to hang on because it's, it's going to move a lot. How about timing the intersection? I know you're a veteran figure eight driver in stock cars, but uh, timing that intersection with these buses. It's a, it's a little different. You can you see a hole and you think you're through it, but then you look up and realize, well, I still got 30 feet of bus to get through there, so it's a little different. I know you have bail equipment rental here on the bus. Any other sponsors on this machine? Well, I just want to thank my sponsors on Extreme Car. Uh, that transmission guy on Outer Loop, he helps me out with my Extreme Car. But uh, other than that, I want to thank all the crew and my family and my wife for letting me do all this stuff. Well, I'll tell you what, race fans, uh, over a dozen school buses went to the post, but this is the driver that went into victory lane, Art Grew. From the front wheel drive division on the oval course, here's your feature race winner on this Memorial Day weekend, Derek Smith. Derek, congratulations, uh, first feature win of the year. Yes, sir, it is. You've got to be thrilled about it. <laughs> Very. Looked like you led for quite a bit of the event, then the 02 got around you, and then you got back around the 02 coming for the finish line. It was an exciting finish. How did you see it from your perspective? Well, uh, when the 02 got uh, first passed me, I thought it was over because I knew I had a pretty big gain and uh, lead on him and he came out of nowhere and he got past me so I thought it was over there but uh, the 26 passed me as well and I seen him pull off so I guess he had mechanical failures or something and um, well the 02 uh, started slowing up in lap traffic and I hit him one good time coming in turn four or exiting turn four and just went high and was going as fast as I could around him. Well race fans they say rubbing's racing and that's how some races are won. 
But I tell you what, Derek, I know you've got, uh, first of all, what kind of car is this? This is a 88 Civic, Honda Civic. 88 Honda Civic. And let's mention some of the sponsors on your car. Well, uh, I got Burgess's uh, home improvement program. Um, he does windows and glass works. And uh, he basically gives me tires anytime I need them, and unlimited for the season. Um, I got to thank HVCC, which is Harvest Valley Community Church. Um, they just help me with anything I need. If I need money for gas, anything, they'll give it to me. Um, I have uh, Bailey's Masonry on the back, and uh, they just gave me some money at the beginning of the season to help out a little bit. Uh, America's Best Inn and Suites. I'm trying to not leave anybody out here. And um, my primary sponsor is uh, WPR Motorsports uh, Transmission Transmission Specialist. Sorry, I can't really speak right now. And um, he does every everything on my car that I need done, uh, body work, frame work, you know, anything that needs done. He's my primary. And uh, I just have to thank most of all tonight for the win, uh, Billy Higgins. If it wasn't for him, I probably would not have won the race tonight. And I'm not going to speak how that was done, but it thanks Billy. As he said, the O2 got hung up in some lap traffic. Congratulations, uh, Derek, and we hope to see you again in victory lane. Thank you very much.